So today we're just going to talk about something really simple and it's the width of stance. What needs to happen in the golf swing is you need to navigate a movement from your sort of trail to lead side and a rotational movement. And the better you can kind of get what's classed as your sort of pivot, well it really sort of makes and breaks your golf swing. I get a lot of people reaching out for swing lessons either online or people that come through that door and quite often I'd say I spend 90% of my time reorganizing the pivoting action because if you don't pivot very well well then it's going to have a massive effect on the other parts in your golf swing so one of the basic things to sort of understand is the width of stats as a real simple thing because i do meet golfers that do some basic things pretty wrong the big tendency is they get too narrow in the stats now what you're looking for is a reference if you were to sort of draw a line vertically on the outside of either hip then that should fall on the inline of your ankles. So it'd be like so, or if you like, maybe shoulder width. So this is often a lot wider than what most people actually perceive. What needs to happen in the backswing position is we need to get this feeling of moving the pelvis or turning the pelvis into the leg, okay? Now the way you're gonna do that is you're going to keep this trail leg flexed and you're gonna practice moving that pelvis in towards the leg. So there's gonna be a little bit of movement towards my right side or towards your trail side in the early backswing. Okay, so I'm not saying it's like some big slide because obviously this leg has got to create resistance. But one of the things again, I get a lot of my students to do is this type of motion because what you should start to feel is that you're triggering that state of internal hip rotation and that's going to create an activation in the glute. And this really loads up this trail slide. That's a big thing that, again, most amateur golfers don't tend to do, is really sort of load up this trail side. If you don't load up, you can't use that trail side then to open up the pelvis in the downswing. So you can experiment with this at home. If you take quite a narrow stance, and then you try and keep this trail leg flexed and then try and move into it, you're gonna notice that you're gonna slide. And the reason why you're gonna slide is because we just haven't got enough of a wide gate to create a resistance. So. Obviously you don't want to go too wide because the, the disadvantage of going too wide is well it would encourage you to move too much in a linear fashion but also you're going to end up quite flat footed in that through swing. But that would be my suggestion, shoulder width apart or draw a line vertically through the outside of your hips so it falls on the inline of your ankles. Turn your feet out a little. That will depend on your range of motion. Some golfers, I tend to encourage they flare the feet out a little bit more because it helps them rotate. Some golfers, I actually encourage them to do it slightly less because it helps them create that load and that resistance. So you'd practice this, this feeling of pelvis into leg, keeping your head nice and steady when you're doing it, pelvis into leg, and you should feel a shift in weight pressure underneath that trail side and an activation in the glute in that backswing. And then really, you're gonna try and do the same thing on the downswing. Now, Ignore my head for the moment because I'm just trying to dramatize again this sort of so the way that my pelvis again is going into my leg so it's creating an element of resistance this way and this way and these are big big moves in the golf swing so you'd get to the top of your backswing here and then you would transition here obviously when you do the transition so the downswing side of it you want to keep your head still so head stay still in the backswing pelvis into leg head stay still in the downswing pelvis into leg and that's going to help you load that weight pressure underneath that lead side and that's going to be a big thing for sort of storing up energy but again the big message here is just be careful with your width of stance you get too narrow or you get too wide it's going to have a real complication getting a good width of stance and then understanding the importance then you're trying to the whole point of this width of stance is so you can turn the pelvis into the leg not too narrow so we end up kind of getting too stuck and too slidey and not too wide so we get completely stuck. Start feeling that pelvis move. Don't think you have to stay completely still. There's going to be a little bit of linear motion in the backswing and obviously much more so in the downswing. This video should hopefully help some of you out. See you soon.